Hey everyone. How's your day going so far? I hope it's nothing short of amazing and that you're feeling your best. Welcome back to my channel, it's always a pleasure to have you here with me. Today, I have something truly fascinating to share with you that will make you question everything you thought you knew about the past and the advanced technology that existed within it. I stumbled upon some mind-blowing information from various sources, and trust me, you'll want to check out the description box for even more captivating topics. Now, I'll be honest, my video quality may not be the best, but I promise you the content is worth it. Some might call me repetitive for diving into this subject, but the truth is, it's important to acknowledge intentional narratives in our history. And hey, if you want to stay up to date on even more exclusive information, make sure to join my Telegram channel. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel too, just in case. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Lester Hendershot, a brilliant physicist and inventor, had always been ahead of his time. He had created generators that had no visible source of energy, which had caused him to be labeled a quack by many in the scientific community. Despite this, he was determined to prove his theories and demonstrate the power of his devices to the world. In the early 1960s, Hendershot had produced 56 pages of documentation, explaining how the Earth was a giant magnet capable of delivering hundreds of billions of volts of energy to humanity every day. He had even gone as far as demonstrating how to harness this power for free and efficiently. However, his theories and inventions attracted the attention of some powerful and influential people who saw his work as a threat to their financial interests. One such person was Dr. Hochstetter, who was a wealthy and influential individual in the energy industry. Hochstetter was determined to get his hands on Hendershot's invention, and he offered to buy it at a premium price. Hendershot, who was struggling to make ends meet, agreed to the offer and sold his invention to Hochstetter. However, shortly after the sale, tragedy struck. Hochstetter was killed in a train wreck, along with the only other passenger on board. The incident was initially ruled as an accident, but many believed that foul play was involved, and suspicions were raised as to whether Hendershot was somehow involved. A few years later, the physicist Hochstetter was found dead in his home. Strangely, the cause of death was never investigated, and it remains unclear whether it was suicide or something else entirely. The circumstances of his death only added to the growing conspiracy theory surrounding Hendershot's work and the possibility that his invention had far-reaching implications that some people wanted to keep hidden. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Secret Technology of Ancient Architecture Thousands of years ago, Mesoamerican civilizations discovered the secret of softening hard rock. The explorer Percival Fawcett, who born in 1867 and died in 1927, recorded the story of the discovery in his journal of a trip to Peru. In an ancient burial site, he discovered a clay bottle filled with a black viscous liquid with a pungent odor. One of the members of the group decided to get the Indian guide drunk, but he resisted. In the struggle, the bottle was broken, and the contents poured out onto a block of basalt. Soon the surface of the rock dissolved to a soft clay that could be molded as desired. Isn't this the secret of the perfectly fitted blocks of the Inca and Mayan pyramids, the subtlety of stone bas reliefs and marble sculptures? The composition of the solvent fluid remained a mystery. Major Fawcett went missing in the Amazon jungle. The discovery of this mysterious black liquid has sparked curiosity and intrigue among many researchers and archaeologists who believe that it may have been the key to the remarkable architectural achievements of ancient civilizations. Since Fawcett's discovery, numerous expeditions have attempted to uncover the formula for this rock-softening liquid. Despite years of research and testing, the exact composition of this fluid still remains a mystery. 
However, some theories suggest that the black viscous liquid may have been a form of acid that was derived from plant or animal extracts, while others believe it may have been a substance that was created through an alchemical process. Regardless of its exact composition, the implications of this discovery are significant. If ancient civilizations were indeed able to manipulate the properties of stone in such a way, it would have allowed them to create elaborate and intricate structures that would have been nearly impossible to achieve using traditional stenemasonry techniques. In addition, this discovery could shed new light on the engineering and technological capabilities of ancient civilizations. It could suggest that they possessed knowledge and expertise in fields such as chemistry and metallurgy, which were previously thought to have only developed much later in history. Upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that the exquisite workmanship and intricate details of this ancient Assyrian base could only have been achieved with the aid of advanced tools and equipment. The precision and accuracy required to shape the amethyst into such a delicate and well-balanced vessel would have been impossible to achieve with manual labor alone. Modern technology, such as computer-aided design and manufacturing, is now used to create complex and detailed designs with great accuracy and efficiency. These tools use high-speed rotating blades, lasers, and other advanced machinery to carve, shape, and polish materials to exact specifications, something that would have been unimaginable in ancient times. In addition, the process of debering, grinding, and polishing amethyst would have required specialized equipment and materials that would have been beyond the capabilities of ancient Assyrian artisans. The use of diamond tip tools and other abrasive materials, which are commonplace in modern manufacturing, was not available during ancient times. Even the drilling of the two holes on the sides of the vase would have been a significant challenge without the aid of advanced drilling technology. Drilling through hard materials such as amethyst requires high-speed rotating drills and specialized cooling methods to prevent damage to the material, something that would have been impossible without modern drilling technology. In conclusion, while the ancient Assyrian vase is a testament to the incredible talent and creativity of our ancestors, it is clear that the level of precision and detail achieved in its creation would have been impossible without the aid of modern technology. The vase is a symbol of both the remarkable achievements of ancient civilizations and the incredible progress we have made in manufacturing and design over the centuries. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it valuable and informative, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Together, we can spread awareness and make a positive impact on the world. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope the information shared here was useful and insightful for you. Until next time.